What's up, friends? It's Volt Firecore. Welcome back to another tier list. So this is an interesting tier list that I think you guys will be uh, pretty interested in. So I'll scroll down and go into the characters. So we are doing a Super Mario tier list. Now this involves all of the Super Mario characters, not just Mario. So characters from the main line or those kind of games. There's not that many characters, so let's just get started. We have the D tier, C tier, B, A, and S. Okay. I'm going to mix these up a little bit because the orders are a little predetermined and I kind of want different orders. Okay. So we're going to start off with the Dong or Donkey Kong himself. Now, Donkey Kong is, he's an OG. Mario, even before Mario existed, he was Mr. Jumpman, and Donkey Kong was the star of the show, stealing Lady, or Pauline. So Donkey Kong has some deep roots inside the Super Mario series, so Donkey Kong, in my opinion, is an A tier. Koopa Troopa, one of the originals. He's changed over the years, getting a lot more happy, because inside of his uh, earlier um, incarnates, he was quite uh, lacking in emotion. He was kind of just a turtle, and now he walks on two legs and does little dances. So I think he's a good character, and I'd say he's a B tier. Hammer Bro. Now, if you guys have ever played any Super Mario games, you know how annoying these Hammer Bros can be. Their jump pa patterns are random, and their hammer throws are quite random, so they're a little annoying to go against. But the characters in general are very interestingly designed, and I really like them a lot. So I'm going to put it at a... Um, at a B tier. Below Koopa. Uh, Bowser Jr. Now, I don't have much of a connection to Bowser Jr. I'm pretty sure he was introduced inside of Super Mario Sunshine. I think. Yeah. But he has some, some roots with the Super Mario series. And I really like him. I think it's really cool that they gave Bowser more of a dad role. So, thank you Bowser Jr. for filling that child role. Um, so I'll put him at a low A tier. Uh, Baby Mario. I hate to say it, but Baby Mario is not one of my favorite Super Mario characters. I find his voice really irritating, and I just don't really like him that much. But if I had to put him inside of a tier, it would probably be a high C tier. Sorry, Baby Mario. Uh, Goomba. Another OG monster inside the Super Mario series. You can't not like a Goomba. He just kind of waddles around, sometimes does a little jiggy, really interestingly designed, little mushroom dude. So I'm going to put him at a high B tier, above Koopa. Metal Mario. Now, Metal Mario is uh, another interesting character. So he's definitely not Mario. He's, uh, well, pretty much just a metal version but he is considered his own character, so just for him being unique, I'm going to put him at a high C tier. Uh, Normal Mario. Now, Normal Mario, he is definitely an S tier. Like, you can't have Super Mario without Mario. That's just how things work. I don't think I need to say anything else. It's Mario. You gotta love him. Pauline. Now, Pauline has changed over the years. She kind of fell off the face of the earth when uh, Peach was introduced, but she made an appearance instead of uh, um, the new Mario Kart game on the phone, um, Super Mario Odyssey, and she dates all the way back to the Donkey Kong game. So she has some good roots, and she's a very nice, fine lady. So I'm going to put her at a mid-A tier. PD Piranha. Now, PD Piranha is a interesting little boy. It's a piranha plant that was genetically mutated into a giant piranha plant, but it's also a baby. So just for that interesting design, I'm going to put it at a high B tier. King Boo. Now, back when I played Mario Kart Wii, King Boo was by far my favorite character to play. I just really liked how funny he was. So I think King Boo is a low A tier. Lakitu. Now, if we're just judging based on how much 
Lakitu is shown inside the Mario games, then he's good. But playing as Lakitu, oh man, he just throws things at your head, and it gets really annoying. But Lakitu's cool. He's inside the Mario Kart game, so I'm going to put him at a, uh, a mid beat here. Now, Piranha Plant. This is actually his, uh, his sprite from uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And um, just for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate's sake, he is an S tier. Piranha Plant is on a whole new level. He, he's, a, he's a Mario enemy in Smash. That's insane. Um, next, we got Toad. Now, Toad's an OG. You can't have Mario without Toad. He's so cute, and he's iconic. I like Toad a lot, and he even had his own game after him, but this isn't Captain Toad, this is Normal Toad. I still like Normal Toad, though, so I'm going to put him at a low A tier. Daisy. Now, Daisy is a little dull inside the head. She's not the smartest, but she's a tomboy, and I think she has a heck of a lot more personality than the other one. So I think Daisy, in my opinion, is a mid A tier. Probably past Bowser Jr. Bowser Jr. Okay, Peach. Now, Peach, in my opinion, is um, less interesting than the other one. Peach has um, gained more personality over the years, but she's still a little one sided. Gets kidnapped by Bowser, asks for Mario's help. Kisses him on the cheek. Repeat. So, a little dull. So I'm going to put her below Koopa, because Koopa Troopa is better than Peach, in my opinion. Now, Iggy, the butt smacker himself. Just the fact that he slaps his butt is hilarious. So, this dude is definitely a low A tier. He's hilarious. If you've ever played Mario Wii, oh man, he's, he's really funny even though his boss battle is really hard. Especially when you're a young and like me. Luigi. Aw, oh, man. Luigi, in my opinion, is actually better than Mario. What, what, what is this? Okay, there we go. The A tier is in the S tier. In my opinion, Luigi is better than Mario. I just think... Um, Mario has a little less oomph. I think Luigi is a lot more... Uh, he shows his emotions more. He shows when he's happy, when he's scared, and his game's really fun, too. Um, who's next? Toadette. Oh, boy. Now, Toadette, definitely one of my favorites, but since we're just judging this off of overall what the characters are like, I'm going to put Toadette at a high A tier, even though if we were just judging this based on how much I like the character, it would be an S tier. Um, Rosalina. Not counting Luma. I don't know why Luma's not in here, but Rosalina. Now, I think Rosalina is a little a little quiet. She doesn't talk too much, but some people could like that. She's definitely a waifu, and uh, if you've ever uh, played any of the uh, Galaxy games, she was probably one of your waifus. So I do have to say, uh, Rosalina is definitely an, a, uh, an, an S tier, not an A tier. Um, Kamek or Magikoopa. Don't really like the character that much. I think the character is kind of just a really basic Bowser minion. Like, I don't have... I haven't played any Mario game that has too much personality for this character. So, I'm going to put this character at a low B tier. Uh, Lemmy. Now, Lemmy has the Mohawk and the Wonko eyes. So, I think he's um an interesting little toddler. Um, he has, um, the, instead of Mario, Super Mario Bros. Wii, he's the boss of the third world, and that was one of my favorites, so he holds a special place in my heart, and I'm gonna put him at a high B tier. He's not amazing, but, you know, he's something. Roy. Now, if you know, Roy is our boy, and, um, I'm a big fan of Roy from Fire Emblem, so I'm a big fan of from Roy from Super Mario, and his glasses. His glasses be fine. Yoshi. I have a severe hatred for Yoshi inside of uh, Super Smash Bros, and since Piranha Plant got in here for Super Smash Bros' sake, 
Yoshi's gonna have to get put instead of a low B tier for Smash Bros. sake. I'm sorry to any Yoshi players. I just, I just suck against the character. Sorry, Yoshi. Uh, Burro, or Buru. Yeah, I don't know why, but when I was a youngin, I used to call Burro Buru. You don't want to know. You honestly don't want to know. I was a, I was a little dense inside the head. But Birdo is definitely a mid A tier, above Daisy since she's mighty fine. Uh, Wario, uh, the master of fart. Now Wario is difficult to play inside of Smash Bros, but I have less of a hatred for him than I have for Yoshi, so I'm gonna put him at a um a low mid A tier. Now Waluigi, aw oh, man. I don't know why he's not in Smash yet. He's so beautiful and so amazing. He's definitely the best character in all of Mario. That's just a given. Like, you can't have Mario without Waluigi. They should just replace Mario with Waluigi and call it, I don't know, New Super Waluigi U or something. I don't know. Boozer, or Bowser, the man himself, the king the powerhouse, the very gentle father. I have high respect for this man. He changed his lifestyle completely. He started off inside the main series on being very brutal and dinosaur-like, and then he turned into a loving father that respects Whammon quite a bit. So I'm going to put him above Danky Kank. Pink Gold Peach. Now, um, Nathaniel Bandy um, has quite a bit of hatred towards this character, but I think the character's fine. I think her voice is irritating in Mario Kart, but that's pretty much her only game that she's been in. So, since she's not really represented that much, I'm gonna have to put her inside of a high D tier, since see, she's a she's a bad character, but not like F tier, even though there is no F tier. Maybe I should have put one in, and it doesn't matter. Okay, uh. Baby Luigi. Now, Baby Luigi is still irritating, but I still think he's a lot better than Mario, or Baby Mario. So I'm going to put him at a uh, below Peach, since, you know, Peach is okay. Wendy. Now, Wendy is another mighty fine character. Her lips are beautiful, her bow, gorgeous. I like the character. She's not S-tier quality, but I think she's a She's next to Wario. I think Wario and Wendy could make a, a nice couple. Maybe. Diddy Kong. Now, Diddy Kong's an amazing character. I like him a lot. I just, I don't know why. His personality is really cool, and I like him in Smash Bros. I play him a little bit, even though he's not that good. So I'm going to put him um, right next to his, uh, his father. Alright, only five more characters. Dry Bones. Now, Dry Bones is a dead version of Koopa, so I do have to say, since he's a zombie, he's probably better, because, you know, zombies, like, can live forever and stuff, and they also don't die after being stomped on, so, you know, they're pretty even, it's just, he's a little bit better. Now, Shy Guy. Shy Guy, if we are going back to my early Mario Kart days, when I used to play Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, aw, oh, man... He was the only character I played. Like, the only character I played. So, just for that, Shy Guy, you are right below Danky. Larry. Okay, Larry, I love you. I, I just, I, I love you. You are, you are majestic. You are the world one boss for Mario Wii, and you gave me so much trouble when I was like seven years old or something, or maybe even younger. I struggled so much, but you taught me how to be a man. You taught me how to be strong. So, thank you, Larry. You are right next to Plant with your power. And also, his name is awesome. Just, you know, Larry. It's amazing. Morton. Okay, now, Morton. Mm, another character that um, has deep roots in my heart. Since uh, Mario Wii was my first video game ever. I know these characters very well. 
except Wendy because I always use the uh, the skip inside of uh, World One, so I never really did World Four or World. Well, I did World Two and World Three, but then I got stuck on World um, Four, so I just did the skip and got to World Five. <laughs> but Morton, World Six boss, great character, big mouth, big personality. So I'm going to put him at a uh, mid B tier. Right next to Lack 2. And next we have Ludwig. Ludwig von Beethoven. Mm. His hair. His hair sells it all. He has a very epic boss fight inside of um, uh, Mario Bros. U. Yeah. With the platforms. Or is that Mario Wii? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure he has epic boss fights on both. So he has some pretty epic boss fights. So he is definitely um, my second favorite Koopalang besides Larry. So he's around Shy Guy level. But with that being said, this is my Super Mario Bros. tier list. We got the trash tiers. We got the low tiers. Got the mid to high tiers. And then we got the S tiers. The most high of high tiers. But thank you guys for watching this tier list. I know it was a little weird, but it doesn't matter. It's a little fun to do. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching and keep on looking for my videos.